Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the second half of November. So, November 15th through the 30th. What do we got for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? What do we got for Scorpio? more card please a couple more Scorpio Sun Moon Rising and Venus November 15th through the 30th ear good news you're gonna hear some good news December is prominent maybe this good news comes in December vulture depression anxiety Worry that someone is against you. Bag. Something important, such as a new job or a raise. Looks like a money bag to me. So, you do have a new job. You may be getting a raise. I feel like you're very fearful, okay, that someone is working against you. Uh, good news is coming. Something, you may get some sort of results in December, okay. Um... Maybe be, be put into a new position uh, that pays you a little bit more money. Or you're coming into some money. Okay. Whatever it is, looks really good so far. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio for... November 15th through the 30th. What do we got for Scorpio? We got the Page of Wands. That is good news. But it looks like this one is being haunted. Uh, this guy's running. Looks like he's running away. <laughs> Interesting. Look at that. Being chased. Being chased away, you know. That's weird with that page of wands. Pretty interesting. This page of wands seems to be uh, uh, getting out. Adios. See you later. I'm out of here. <laughs> Somebody's leaving. They're leaving really fast. Okay. It looks like it's kind of scary. So somebody is, is leaving. It's like they're scared. They're running away. Um, I don't know. Could be a polit. This guy kind of looks like a politician. It's interesting. You take a look. I mean, he does look like a politician. So this is like, oh my God, being chased by a demon. We got a demon here. Being chased by some sort of demon. Need to retreat. Need to get the hell out of here. Um, six of Cups. Six of Cups is about the past. Home. Somebody could be going home. You see, I'm putting it right here. I don't know if they're going home. Maybe they're running back to the past. Uh, Six of Cups is reminiscing memories of the past. Six of Swords. Now that's moving. Moving on. Two sixes, taking a journey. Somebody is definitely going someplace. They're they're traveling or they're leaving. They may be going to their hometown or traveling to a new destination. Um, getting the hell out of Dodge. This is like an escape, wanting to escape. Um, It feels like whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with is going back to somebody in their past. It could be somebody that took care of them or they knew when they were young or something like that. Somebody may be moving or it could have something to do with going home. Definitely traveling. Five of Wands. Oh my gosh. This is, uh, look at all these people hanging. This is like very, it looks like this is a scary situation. I don't know what is going on, Scorpio. It looks like you're in a situation, you're in some sort of hot water. You may be in hot water. Um, and you're about to, I feel, I don't know, 
It doesn't look good. This is like falling into a boiling pot. But that's what it looks like to me. Um, but this is this is a. It looks like there's fear here. Somebody has done something, you know, probably that they shouldn't have done, and now they may have. There could be some consequences. I'm not sure what the hell is going on, but um, this is like. Well, five of wands, this is uh, typically competition, playing games. Um, but somebody's about to be, uh, well, cut free, but I'm not sure the outcome is going to be pretty. It doesn't look like it is. Um, burning, okay? See the fire? It's like on fire. This is, this is, uh, Somebody is in a very scary situation, and it feels like they are about to uh, deal with some sort of freaking consequences, okay? Whatever is going on here, there's consequences. It looks pretty damn scary. Um, death! Uh, mm, endings lead to new beginnings, so that's a good thing. Um... This is, this is, uh, now this is thinking. It's the Six of Cups is, it's reminiscing. You may be reminiscing about somebody that has passed away. It could be a mother, I'm not sure. Um, doesn't have to be, it could be a wife. Um, but anyhow, or it could be anybody, but death, this is memories. Okay, memories of love. Somebody is remembering love or wanting to go home or they may be running, wanting to run away, wishing they could go home, wishing they could go back to when life was easy, wishing they could go back, something like that. Anyhow, this death card is an ending. Okay, I can't, I can't pretend that it's not. This is a transition. Okay, it's a transformation. It is. It's a separation. It's a loss which leads to a new beginning. So you do have a new beginning that comes after a separation. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that is in some really hot water. And I feel like they are trying to get away with something that they can't get away from. Like they're trying to get away from it, but they can't get away from it. Um, mm, now this five of wands, that's some sort of... Uh, struggling okay the dispute there is definitely some sort of dispute some sort of fighting going on strong 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 competition definitely there's a need for change here somebody needs to speak up they need to speak because obviously if the if these people whoever these it looks like, look, look, looks like there's a bunch of people these people need to agree they need to shut their mouths or they're going to end up you know they could end up in a really bad place just saying. So anyhow, um, wow, Scorpio. I feel as though uh, you do have a new beginning here. But moving may be part of it because of this Six of Swords. And this is getting out of Dodge. I mean, you may need to move, you know, because this is going, moving on, go to a, going to a better place, going someplace else. Um world travel yes travel there is traveling here this is the end and this is the end so we definitely have a major ending maybe you travel maybe you move to a, a different place some place where there there'll be more success i feel like you have completed some sort of cycle in your life you've completed something uh it's time for you to allow an ending accept and allow when you get the world card don't resist um, this is the end of a cycle, something that you have been participating in for some time, okay? This this project, this phase, this chapter, this uh, situation that has consumed you for so long is over. It's time for you to uh, end, the, end it. That's, that's a major ending. That's the last card in the deck. That means that the cycle is over. It means the traveler has reached the end, okay? And now it's time to... Uh, learn a new lesson. It's time to step on a new path. So it is time for you to step on a new path. You, a lot of you are are think are staying stuck in the past. You're stuck on on something. You know, and maybe it's politics. I don't know. 
uh, you're stuck. You're stuck in a situation that with a lot of memories, you know, or the past, you know. Um, and it's time for you to uh, basically cross that bridge and step into a new world, you know, step into a new life. Uh, this is a major completion. It's, it is. This is like turning your back on the past, turning your back on whatever it is that has been keeping you troubled, which has caused you so much trouble, which has caused you so much turbulence, which has caused you so much disharmony. It's time for you to get your life back on track. 2021 is about you, okay? It's about you being happy. It's about you remembering what it what love feels like. It's re about you remembering what peace and harmony feels like. You know, you need to find your ability to speak up for yourself. Don't let yourself hang because of these other people. I feel like you're dealing with other people that are getting you in trouble, you know, and you know, you're going to go down with them unless you get the hell out of there. So however that resonates with you, I feel like it is time for a profound life change with a death card. It's time for you to end a cycle. It's time for you to end, you know, um, it feels like there's some sort of demons here. You're being chased by some sort of freaking demons and you need to, you need to really get the hell out of there, out of, out, I mean, really, like, new destination, like, you see ya. Um, some of you are moving, you're gonna be moving, or traveling. You know, I'm not sure if there's, I mean, the death, I'm not sure if there's some sort of, um, ending in your life well, there's gonna be with these two cards something is coming to an end and I and I feel like it's makes you want to run away you want to get the you you want to run away you want to get out of here now I'm not sure if somebody is gonna if they pass away I don't know if that's the case or or somebody has or whatever um, but it feels like, you know, you're, you're, you're in with some people that are, uh, not good people. I feel like you're in with some people that are not good people and you need to remove yourself from this situation before you end up, <sighs> uh, in some hot water that you can't get out of burned. Okay. Uh, my advice for you. Is to hit the road, Jack. Okay, you gotta hit the road. You gotta hit the road. You gotta hit the road before, you know, it gets bad. I mean, that's what I see. I feel like maybe, maybe you'll be moving in December. You know, in 2021, this is a whole new you. It's a whole new life. It's a new beginning. Something is ending, you know, between now and December. You know, which is going to allow you to go to this better place. Um, I do see you moving. Some of you are moving. You're moving to a better place. You're, you're traveling perhaps. Um, wheel of fortune. Oh my God. This is the end of a cycle. No doubt about it. Um, life is always changing and life is about to change for you. This is a profound change with the world card, the death card and the wheel of fortune all right together. This is moving towards a uh, new life. Okay. You, a new life, a new beginning is about to start for you. Uh, whatever has been causing you strife, that's going to come to an end. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen, which I feel like it breaks you free from this. Some sort of positive change is coming. And it's coming because of an ending. Be this positive change is coming because of a death. Because of an ending of some sort. Okay? Death is an ending of a situation, however you look at it. It's a separation. It's a loss of some sort. This loss allows you to go in a better positive direction. So yeah, you guys are going to be starting over. You're starting over. And I'm not sure if it has to do with a job 
or a place of living, a place of residence. But, uh, yeah, whatever this is, it is good news. It is good news. It's going to lead you to uh, better finances, better money. It's going to help you to get rid of that depression and that anxiety. That who, it's whoever you've been hanging out with has been causing you. These people have been ruling the roost. You know, they've been ruling you. They've been taking control of you and you've been allowing it. But now I feel like it's over. I feel like you're moving towards the future. Everything has come full circle. You're free. You're free. You're free to take this new adventure. You're free to go wherever you want. And I feel like you're going to. I feel like you've learned some sort of lesson. This lesson has to do with, uh, I think it has to do with peace and harmony and what makes you feel good and not going against what doesn't make you feel good. And I think that you have been. I think that you have been letting other people control, you know, who you are. So anyway, Scorpio, I feel like you're going to be in total balance. You're going to be in the flow. You're going to be going with the flow. You're going to be completing one one chapter of your life. There's no doubt about it. And it's a big one. It's something you've been doing. It's a life lesson. Okay, it's over. It's over. And you're going to find yourself moving down a new path, going down a, a completely new path. It's completely new. This is life changing in a big, 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 big way. It is. With the world card and the wheel of fortune, this is big. Okay, your life is about to change in a very big way. You're going to be going down a path that you did not expect to go down. A karmic cycle is ending with that wheel of fortune. In the death card in the world, this is an ending. This is a karmic ending for you. I think you have learned a very valuable lesson about life. And about who you can trust and who you can't trust and who's there to support you. So anyway, let's get one more card. You, 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 you got a lot of strife with somebody. Okay. Nine of Wands reversed. This is the strife, and I was clarifying that. You you got somebody here that doesn't care if they hurt you in whatever it is that they're doing, as long as they get their way. So they now they've gotten you wrapped into their mess. And I feel like, you know, you're going to need to find your strength. You're going to need to find your determination and your willpower. I think whoever you're dealing with um, is very disagreeable. They have a lot of pride. And maybe you have a lot of pride. The Nine of Wands reverse is somebody that has a lot of pride. This is somebody that uh, is repeating negative patterns. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. It refuses to compromise. Has a chip on their shoulder. So I, I feel like... Uh, there's, we have somebody here that has a lot of hard feelings that is very angry, very angry with the world. And I feel like who, I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's the person that you're dealing with that is, uh, you know, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to burn you. Okay. And they don't care if they burn you as long as, uh, they succeed. So I feel like this month. You're going to be leaving some sort of battle behind. I feel like this battle is going to be behind you. This It's like you're giving up. It's like you're deciding to go. You're deciding to, to, to move or to travel or to go someplace else. You're done fighting. You're, you're, you've, you've walked away or you're getting ready to walk away. Um, I think you're going to start remembering things. You're going to be thinking a lot about your past, thinking about your childhood, maybe something to do with your mother. Um, I don't know why I want to keep saying mother, but it has something to do with your mother. What would your mother say? So anyway, this is the end of a cycle. It is. It's the end of a cycle. You are going to be changing directions. 
by the end of this month. Something is going to end. It may, it may, it may not, it may end badly because of that five of wands. Okay, it feels like it's going. This is very chaotic. It's, it's a surprise. It's like, oh my God, how they get caught up in this mess? You know, how did this happen? This happened because you allowed it. You allowed yourself to get caught up in this mess. You allowed somebody to take control of you. So anyway, I feel by, by the end of this month, you are definitely going to be breaking free. This is freedom. Leaving the past behind, seriously. Leaving something behind. Focusing on the future. Moving forward. Uh, fortunate. It's a very fortunate. And this is a fortunate loss. It is. Which leads to a fortunate new beginning. So... This is a big month for you. It is a big month of getting to a better place, moving to a better place, leaving the turbulence behind, leaving the trouble behind. Uh, a lot of memories of the past, a lot of emotions. I think that you are going to be feeling a lot of very emotional. Um, I think that you're going to get an offer. I think you're going to get an offer that is unexpected, that allows you to get the hell out of Dodge. And my, my advice is to take it. Good luck.